Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Amazing! Gracious! Another person's passport choice, Lori! Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of passport toys. Yeah, baby! How you doing guys? So I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's passport toy story. And boy, have I got a toy for you. So the toy for today is um, a bunch of minion toys. <laughs> I'm of this. Well, since yesterday we celebrated the uh, Ninoy Aquino Day, that's why we have an extra day, a holiday. <laughs> we were we weren't uh, uh, we did not report for work, so there was an extra day for us to do a lot of stuff. Like me, for example, I updated my <laughs> this uh, particular app where and I get to practice my singing. Ah, yeah, okay. So anyway, today I'll be doing a blog of some Dominions since uh, Yellow is. Uh, apparently very significant in the celebration of the Ninoy Aquino Day. So uh, he was actually um, in prison for a while and then um, he, he thought of the song Tie a Yellow Ribbon as uh, something very, very uh, significant to him. It's um, the people's way of actually welcoming him. Uh, it's a sign that they welcome him with open arms after all that has happened after being away for such a long time. Okay, so, and uh, since the minions are actually yellow, I think th this could pass for a yellow ribbon. Also, if you don't have any ribbons to tie in your old oak tree, you can probably use some of these minion toys from McDonald's as, uh, you know, as your own way of welcoming someone or like a hero like, uh, you know, Yakido. Okay, so let's open up some of the toys. But before we get into the toy, just would like to say, I have to tell you about this newest product. It's uh, an amazing grace peanut butter. <laughs> it's a wonderful peanut butter concoction. And um, as you can see, there is a comic strip here of Amazing Grace, my comic strip, which comes out in Manila Bulletin as well as PB, the Percy Bear, or PB could stand for peanut butter. <laughs> uh, that is, I think that is somehow very prophetic as well. So, uh, each of the bottle comes with a, a comic strip, um, yeah, something like a Bazooka Joe. I just love the Bazooka Joe where in, whenever you open a packaging of the bubble gum, you get a specific comic strip. And uh, I think this is my own way of uh, trying to <laughs> relive that kind of experience because uh, it excited me, it made me happy as a kid. And I suppose the kids who would get a chance to buy some of these amazing Grace Peanut Burrs will also enjoy some of the antiques and this awesome comic strips of Amazing Grace, which happens to be my very own brainchild. Okay, and so is Percy Bear. <laughs> so if you do get a chance to buy uh, an Amazing Grace and Percy Bear peanut butter, please do so and enjoy this amazing and awesome uh, spread to your breads or to whatever a baguette or <laughs> ciabatta bread that you have. How would that suit for a ciabatta bread? I don't know. Okay, so the toy for today is this. Let's see, um, these are surprise toys from McDonald's which were released uh, prior to the Space Jam. So I have loads of them and I want to open them. These are random, I don't know if I've already uh, did a blog of some of them. So let's uh, check it out. So first up, we have this. It's a two-eyed minion. Uh, yeah, I don't know the name. <laughs> And there is a surprise toy inside, and let's see what is inside. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, so here it is. This looks like a very, very tall minion, and um, apparently he's wearing a brown karate suit. Okay, so I don't think I, I was able to buy um, uh, this particular minion yet. I was able to do a blog about this particular minion yet, but uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I was hoping that there will be duplicates here and I get to open uh, a lot of them. So here it is. It looks like a Twinkie, one of those, uh, you know, those popular uh, bread with pudding inside. 
I think uh, this is somehow inspired by that particular character and uh, yeah this specific minion uh, sort of looks like that it's elongated it's colored yellow and apparently there's also a mascot about that Twinkie is it Twinkie? <laughs> well they were never really made popular here in the Philippines um, because I don't think uh, they were widespread uh, back in the day when they were really popular but uh, maybe some stores, some of those fancier stores in Manila would have the Twinkies. But uh, in the States, I am very positive that it somehow became some sort of an icon and uh, the mascot as well became very, very popular. So if you're familiar with the Twinkies mascot, most likely this <laughs> a minion specifically would inevitably um, remind you of that uh yeah that very lovable <laughs> yellow banana like uh mascot of twinkies so here it is what's his name i don't know so it doesn't say here what name it is so it's number 22 so i better review the names of the minions because they are they are so innumerable that it makes it difficult for me to actually um uh to actually memorize the name i know there's a Stuart? Uh, there were Stuarts, there were Mikes, there were uh, probably Percy. <laughs> I don't know, they were so multitudinal uh, and verbal, like I said. So let's just say this is the karate chopping, uh, elongated Twinkie like minion, and this is so good. And what a perfect way to actually celebrate Ninoy you Aquino know, Day than, to, uh, than for me to be able to tell you the story of this specific minion because yellow, like I said, happens to be very significant um, color in the celebration of the Ninoy Aquino Day. It's uh, a most uh, wonderful way of actually welcome anybody uh, in your life uh, after having been long and lost, <laughs> long lost, or after not having been able to see them for such a long time. Uh, I think it pays to have something yellow to actually uh, make them feel at home and make them feel welcome once again. So this is it. And uh, let's give it a 360 degree turn. This karate chopping minion. Look at that. Isn't it great? So the, the eyeglasses actually are <laughs> like the, the kung fu. Uh, yeah, the kung fu. So it's tied like in a knot just like uh, those uh, uh, those that you put uh, in your forehead when you are a karate uh, trainee or a karate expert Okay, so that is it now. I gotta say uh, By the way, I have this song down below <laughs> as a tribute to Ninoy Aquino in celebration of uh, the Ninoy Aquino day and also to this yellow minion uh, Yeah, very welcoming minion Okay now I gotta say that this is just an amazing grace. So once again guys, uh, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come to our lives. Be they in the form of this awesome minion from McDonald's Happy Meal. Such a wonderful toy and a great addition to my Percy's Fast Food Toy Cliff. <laughs> or basically guys, let's be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come to our lives. Be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast But Toy Story. Thank you so much to new subscribers. Please do invite your other friends to also sub subscribe because we still have a lot more. And I mean a lot more Percy's Fast But Toy Stories up my sleeves. So until the next one, bye bye and see you around guys. Oh, tie a yellow minion around the old.